Yeah, baby! Your regularly scheduled program of the Les Garbo has been awkwardly interrupted by me, Troy Cody Garbo, and I am here to bring you your local weather report. Look outside, New England. It is fucking cold. Hell is frozen. No, baby, that can only mean one thing. One thing only that the time has come. The time has finally come. Doomsday, 2007, come once a year to this shitty city, city of Manchester, baby. And you're looking at the next Doomsday Champion. I can guarantee you that, boy, because ain't nobody going to get crazy and try to go to I'll take anything any of them boys dish at me, and I'll give it right back to them, because I am. Truck Rodi Gabo. Thank you. I smoke two joints in the morning. I smoke two joints at night. Oh. Hey, tonight's Doomsday. I'm going to get high up on that ladder, grab that fat sack, and smoke that butt dry. Yeah. That's the high I'm talking about right there. <laughs> You guys never thought you'd see me again. I came back to WNW for one reason, and one reason at all, and that was to help out JT. But now he has family issues, he has his own things to do. But when I was at home watching WNW online, and I saw one guy in particular, and that's Grim, and he's the one that's gonna get taken out. I will be the one to take him out, and I will be the number one contender, and I will be facing FO at the next fest. Grim is undefeated, and he will remain undefeated. He's going to win the Doomsday Ladder match. The following contest is a Doomsday match. A four-man ladder match. To capture the Doomsday flag. The winner will be the 2007 Doomsday Champion and will face the WAW Champion in a match of the winner's choosing at Lord of the Ring 2008. Entry first, accompanied by Serena Merrick, hailing from Munich, Germany. Freedom! The action continues here at Doomsday. It is now time for the five-man Doomsday ladder match. Excuse me, not a five-man ladder match, a four-man ladder match. And the reason why it's a four-man ladder match now is, as Rob Marsh alluded to earlier on, JT Lambo's got himself some family stuff to deal with. And on that note, we would like to congratulate JT Lambo, who is missing tonight's Doomsday. We'd like to congratulate Lambo on the birth of his child. So, WAW would like to extend its congratulations to JT Lambeau and his, his close family on the arrival of a newborn child. JT Lambeau's a daddy. That's one hell of a reason to miss Doomsday. Congratulations to JT Lambeau. And now we await the arrival of our other participants. Henry from Boston, Massachusetts. It's Spooky! Here comes our second competitor in this Doomsday ladder match. It is Smokey. What, what the hell's flying out of the entranceway? Here comes Smokey. He's throwing out some sort of treats to the crowd, or as he might like to call them, munchies. He is one man who has had a couple of go-arounds with our first entrant being Grim. Grim is undefeated thus far. Heading into Doomsday, he is 6-0, coming into Doomsday. Smokey even hit and went off to the cameraman, got himself a happy little blue wig on with a Santa hat. I'm sure in his own mind, he thought that was a good idea to wear to the ring. Hey, smoking a quarter ounce of marijuana to yourself can do funny things to your brain. And your prime example is that man right there, Smokey, entering Doomsday 2007. You got to be third. Getting from Mobile, Alabama. The good old boy, Troy Garbo. Here comes our third entrant, Troy Garbo, or Troy Go Cody Garbo, good old boy Garbo. Garbo, Garbo. However you want to say it, it's the good old boy, Troy Garbo, has had one hell of a year. Many opportunities that have been passed, thanks to outside causes. Troy Garbo looking to avenge all of the downfalls of 2007 by closing it out with a win in the Doomsday Ladder Match here tonight against Grim, Smokey, and Rob Marsh. Injury four, Kelly from Cambridge, New Jersey. 
Jersey, the silent assassin, Rob Marsh! Here comes our last entrant, Rob Marsh, who made his return just last week here on Aftermath, aiding JT Lambo. Oh, and Brink just got blocked right in the face by Marsh. This one is underway in the Doomsday Ladder Match. The 2007 gets underway. These four men, one of these four, will be at Lord of the Rain 2008's main event, facing whomever the WAW champion may be, be it FO, be it Sane, be it Flax, be it Diomedes, be it Staples or Carnage. Here comes Garbo, flips over the top rope, and he takes out the Doomsday Ladder Match. What agility by Troy Garbo! I don't believe it! And Garbo now goes for a ladder, sending it into the ring. Garbo has the ladder, he's setting it up under the Doomsday flag. Which looks like it is not a far climb. Wait a second, here comes Smokey with a steel chair right to the back of Troy Garbo. I think that's the most violent I've ever seen Smokey get. We got Grimm and Marsh battling on the floor, trading punches back and forth. Oh, we got a shot to the back of Smokey. Oh, Rob wow, Marsh. Oh, Marsh hit the wall. So he Grimm and Grimm goes back into the wall. Smokey tipped off. Oh, a kick right to the face. Snap air on the floor. Oh, a kick right to the spine of Grimm. This is the most dominated I have ever seen Grimm. I don't think I've ever seen Grimm dominated like this. Like he's being handled on the floor by Rob Marsh. Then again, he has never met such a stiff, striking attack that Rob Marsh presents each week when he enters a ring. Rob Marsh, easily one of the deadliest strikers in WAW's history, and he is showing for why as Smokey goes back first into the ladder. Oh, Marsh kicks Garbo right in the leg. Marsh wants one thing. He wants to go to Lord of the Rings. He wants to face the WAW champion as he sends Smokey out to the floor. Kicking Garbo right in the arm. Oh no. He's got a chair. He's coming off. Oh, drives that chair right into the side of the head of Troy Garbo. This ladder match has been fast and furious from the opening bell. Going for the suplex on Grimm. Can he get it? Yes, he does. Takes the monster of Munich over who has been virtually on the defense the entire time. Oh, ladder shot right to the head of Smokey, and he goes down. Oh, shot right to the back of Grimm by Rob Marsh. Wait a second, no way, no way. He's going up to the top rope. Double stop on the ladder. Marsh means business here in the Doomsday Ladder Match. He took out Smokey, he took out Garbo, he's taken out Grimm. We could be moments away from a 2007 Doomsday Champion in Rob Marsh. Oh, he goes for the flag, but Grimm is there to stop it. Wait a second, Choke slams him off the ladder. Grim choke slams Rob Marsh straight down to hell. Garbo now up on the bottom rope, call for a bionic elbow. He gets caught, choke slam. Smokey gets caught as well, and choke slam on Smokey. I've just been told from ringside that Smokey has a severe laceration on the top of his head from that ladder shot. When Marsh threw the ladder at Smokey, I've been told he is bleeding profusely from the top of his head. Thought for a second that steel chair in the bottom of our screen was a puddle of blood until it became uh, a little more visible. Oh, 
Oh, no. Oh, Falcon Arrow out of the corner. Just missed the ladder. Marsh took Garbo and slammed him down hard. Garbo just missing that ladder. Marsh climbing up to the top of the ladder. Oh, Grim pushes the ladder right out from underneath Marsh. Grim now setting up that ladder. Garbo up on his feet now. Garbo and Grim on top of the ladder. Choke slams Garbo off the ladder. And Grim has secured the Doomsday flag. Grim moves to 7 0, remaining undefeated. And he will now go to Lord of the Rings 2008, where he will challenge whomever the WAW champion will be. Grim was heavily favored to win this thing, and he followed through on the odds. Grim, your 2007 Doomsday Champion, the first rookie in WAW history to debut and go on to a special and win his first special championship. What a ladder match, short-lived as it was. Grim took out the competition here at Doomsday. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, the WAW Team Championship will be decided when Full Metal Jacket goes up against Total Chaos.